friends, it's me, Stace. Today we'll be using the Cricut machine to make this really cute dog card. There's the front. This is all done using the markers that I stamped here, and then we have the inside as well. I'll just go to the computer and we'll get started. All right, here we are at the computer. I'm already logged in to Cricut Design Space. I am also on the welcome screen. We're going to go right below where it says recommended for you and click on card making. At the very top in the search box, type in the word dog and then click on enter. You will see it's going to bring up various dog images. Then if you go down farther where it says Cricut Projects, you'll see this card here. It's a dog card. Go to click on that. It'll bring up a preview window. Very bottom, choose Customize. All right, so this is our shape here. I first want to right click on it and choose Detach to separate the pieces. I'm going to drag this out of here. I'm not going to use this piece, so I'm actually just going to hit Delete on my keyboard. I want to move the dog up a little bit. How I like them. Okay. Now if you click on the dog and go to the upper left hand corner, you will see operation. This is set to draw or using the pen. The same with the asterisk. So we want it to draw, but also cut a shape around it. So what I'm going to first do is right or highlight my dog and my asterisk. Right click on that and choose group. Go to my left hand side toolbar. We're going to click on shapes and a square. I'm going to resize it to be 3.5 by 3.5 or 3 and 1 half by 3 and 1 half. I'm also going to make this be white. So this piece, if you go to the upper left hand corner, you will see this is set to cut. This is going to draw, but we're going to move this over. If you need to, right click on it and choose bring to front. We're going to bring that over so it's going to draw on this white piece and then we can cut the white piece out. I'm going to highlight both pieces, go to my top toolbar and choose align, and then choose align a center. We're going to right click on that and choose group, and then right click again and choose attach. So now it's going to draw the dog as well as the asterisk on that white piece of paper. Upper right hand corner, let's choose make it. If it brings up the card mat, just go to the left hand side toolbar where it says material type, change that from card mat to the regular mat. Move this over, so now you'll see the operation is set. The first it's gonna do is pen, so it's gonna draw the dog as well as the asterisk. Then it's gonna do the basic cut, which is going to cut the shape out. I'm gonna go to my, I'm gonna click on continue, cut this out, go to the table, and we'll put the dog card together. All right, we are back. Everything is cut out, or the, our one little piece is cut out. All right, so what I have here is a piece of cardstock. This is Stampin' Up! Pacific Blue, 8.5 by 5.5, and, and I scored that at 4 and a quarter. Take your bone folder and just give that a good crease. Then I have the same color as my card base. This piece is 3 and 3 quarter by 3 and 3 quarter. A piece of pattern paper for the front, 4 by 5 and a quarter. Then I have a piece of white cardstock for the inside of the card, 4 by 5 and a quarter. This piece is one inch by three and three quarter. And then this piece of the same car, the same cardstock is one half inch by about three. All right, what we're gonna do first is adhere our paper down to the front of the card. All right, I'm using my ATG for that. Hopefully there's enough in here. All right, so make sure it goes the right way. And we're gonna adhere this down. This is such a fast card to put together because all that we're doing with the Cricut is just drawing this out and cutting it out. And right, I'm going to take this piece and adhere that down to the front. And I have this going more toward the top. Just make sure it's even on all the sides. This piece we're going to pop up, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my foam squares for that. And I'm going to use five, all four corners, and then one in the center. Just give them all a little squish. Take the backings off. Really cute little card. You know, a lot of these images, they're really nice for, um, for the kids to color. So it's a good uh, kids project. You can make the card, have the little ones color the dog in and give it to grandma and grandpa or whoever they want to give the card to. Just another little idea. So we're gonna layer this on top of that blue layer there. All right, now we have this piece here. We're going to stamp on that. Um, the stamps that I'm using is one of Maybe Made It's. It is called Trixie's Valentine. I'm using the one here, the greeting that says I Rough You, as well as the little paw print, as well as the hearts. So I have my stamp here. I'm using Pacific Point Stampin' Up! ink, which is the same color as my cardstock. And I'm going to stamp this on there. And I'm going to stamp this in the middle. Try to be straight if I can. 
Super cute. All right. Now I'm going to grab the paw print and my Versifying Black ink. I'm going to stamp the paw print on both sides. There's one. Then we have the other one over here. And then while we have the black ink out, we're going to go ahead and do the inside as well. For the inside, I have the little trio of hearts. Now I'm going to stamp that in the black. Now I'm going to stamp this down, in the, or the ink in the black. Stamp it in the lower right hand corner of the white cardstock. All right, so we can close all that up. We're all done with all that. So for the greeting, I'm going to go, go ahead and flip it over, and we're going to put some foam squares on the back of that as well. I think three on this one is fine. Okay, go ahead and give it a squish. I'll take the backing off. And I'm going to layer this on the bottom. And it should be even with that blue layer because the blue layer we also cut to be three and three quarter by three and three quarter. Super cute. And right, now we have the inside. This is where I have the other little strip of the same pattern paper. I'm going to take my adhesive. I stamped it in the corner. And I'm just going to put my paper on a little bit of an angle just to kind of block that a little bit. I right, flip it over then cut off the excess. And then we can bring that to the inside. And our card is done. Another cute little card. Very simple, too. I love simple cards that are also really cute. Okay, so there's that one. There's that one. I also have a card kit for you. Let me grab the card kit. So you have all the pieces, as well as the envelope. You'll also get a finished card with another envelope. So you have one to make and one to mail. Um, to win the card kit, go to my website. I'll have a link below my blog post and leave me a comment. The first one that leaves a comment will be the winner of the card kit. All right, my friends, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.